qualification process. For sure. I mean, I can't believe it's starting so soon already. But I know that Camilla had some goals for this competition, and she achieved most of them with making a combined final, the, mo the main one, I think. And she definitely experimented with her training in the run-up to this. So it will have been a successful competition for her regardless. A good starting point for next year and with the ultimate goal being Paris, of course. Yeah, and it's easy to forget how young she is. She's just really started fully coming into the senior circuit. So she is underway, approaching the first tricky part of this no-scoring zone. No points in the bottom half. If you're watching this, it is different from the single format. I wonder how much more this section will tire her out than our more established league climbers, or whether there's not more. Oh, she goes double, showing that she is the vice world champion in Boulder. Well, you said it, this is kind of a speed route, and that is going to suit her style, because as a boulderer, she might want to climb quicker. Definitely. I think boulderers tend to just go, 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 because they have got less endurance than the lead specialists. So, I mean, she's made quick work at the start. See if she keeps up the fast pace. So Camilla swings back, her score starts creeping up. You can see the, uh, the scoreboard down the bottom left, the one, the number on the far left, that's her total. The one fixed saying BLD, that's the boulder, and then the lead is what she's currently racking up, just to explain that graphic. camera pans in towards her and rotates and start to get an appreciating an understanding of how overhanging this route is. Look at that. I mean, they put volumes on top of a volume on top of an overhanging I know, route. which makes it even steeper, <laughs> as if it needed to be any harder. 3D climbing up there. Is it easy to get sort of disorientated in that position? Definitely. I mean, you see people spinning round when they're reading the routes, and sometimes we've seen inversions in the qualification rounds, we've seen paddles. Roots and boulders, they're really crossing over with every competition. And so, yeah, it can be quite tricky. A lot of the time, people go feet first, and people go maybe not. So, you know, it's getting harder and harder to know what on earth the route sets want you to do on the wall. <laughs> so Camilla Moroni makes a clip. She's deep into the scoring territory now, approaching the five-point moves. She is having a really good climb so far. She had a top 10 finish in the lead element of the European Championship, so she's clearly in the best lead shape of her life right now. Let's see what she can do. Yeah, doing really well at the moment. She comes she up to the crimps. Sticks it. So she's done all the 3D climbing, the overhanging stuff, and now she needs to hope her forearms can hold on to those smaller yeah, holds. We're into straight resistance climbing now. And no oh, tiny feet. is hurting right now, skin, forearms. And we lose her at 104. So... A really good effort from Camilla. Something to be proud of, for sure. Yeah, she's got from the bottom of the leaderboard into a current bronze medal position, but we've got a lot of athletes to go. Anyone's finding the, uh, the audience really loud, it's because they are. They are screaming down there. And myself and Molly are sitting in the grandstand itself, so I think our mics pick up a bit of that excitement, but it gives you an idea of what it feels like in the stadium, and all week, to be honest. It's just been... I mean, look, World Cups are good, and we get some fantastic ones, like Chamonix, Brion, so on, you know, big, hyped event. This feels different. Oh, something. this feels way bigger than all of them. It feels like we've entered a new world. <laughs> we've left the comfort of our normal IFSC World Cups, <laughs> and we've entered this crazy multi-sport uh, professional sports world which is super cool i mean we've got people who aren't quite in the barriers um trying to peer over and see whatever they can see the screens climbing really is attracting a huge audience it is where it belongs and this is camilla moroni's last move slipping off as she got to the head wall and she looks exhausted <laughs> yeah she's done oh, she's done isn't she her final climb Headwall, turning the lip is always a tricky sequence, and the headwall itself is short here. Molly, some people have said to me, it's too much roof. <laughs> too much <laughs> Where roof. Where do you lie on the roof, no roof issue? I mean, I think this is a fantastic wall. 
Um, I'm not a massive fan of a head roll. It gets a bit too techy for me when you get.